Shalom, brothers, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakadash. Brothers, brothers, I want to open up with Isaiah chapter 2, verse 6, and it reads, For you have abandoned your people, the house of Jacob, because they are full of divination from the east, and of fortune tellers like the Philistines. They are in league with foreigners. Their lands are full of silver and gold, and there is no limit to their treasures. Their land is full of horses, and there is no limit to their chariots. Verse 8. Their land is full of idols. They bow down to the work of their hands, to what their fingers have made. So, hu so humanity is brought low and man is humbled, right? Something I want to point out here before we get into the video is, is how the scriptures how the scriptures read, uh, uh, particularly about how Israel was going off, right? And, and, and they got themselves mixed up with, with other, other um, countries, got themselves mixed up with, with idolatry and what have you, dealing with the foreign nations, right? But something I want to point out here and how, how it's relevant in this video clip I'm about to play is, is how, let me let my eyes go up back to the verse here. For their land is full of gold and silver, and there is no limit to their treasures. And their land is full of horses, and there is no limit to their chariots. Right? Here we have, um, you know, individuals, chariots, our modern-day chariots, our modern-day horses is, is the car. Right? We have, you know, um, perceivably what seems to be um, Northern Kingdom. You know, as, we, as I let the video play, you know, um, we have Ferraris in the background. We have sports cars in the background. You know, we have men who, who are quote unquote flashy. They got it. They got it going on. They got it popping or what have you. But let's check out what happens here. Let's, I'm going to let the video play. Fuck. Fuck. Y lo tengo en video. Coño. 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 Mira todo lo. Mierda. Mira. How can I help you, puppy? Here, I wanna take him out. Can we? No, no, no. This man is a pest. Take him out. Yeah, there's a police here. Okay, puppy. Okay, I know. I'm not sure if you brothers noticed what happened here, but um, there was a group of, of, of men here racing Ferraris in Miami, you know, and that's what happens when, you know, you get you get money, you know, you're making things happen. You know, you're, you're a quote unquote mover and a shaker. You know, why else would you have a Ferrari unless you're making the money? Yeah, granted, there are a lot of guys out there fronting and what have you. But if you got a group of guys, you know, racing Ferraris downtown Miami. And you end up spinning out and crashing your damn car, you know. You you prideful, you lift it up, right? We all know about about the Fast and the Furious, and that, that actually looks like what these these guys, these gentlemen, were attempting to do here, all right? Let me continue to let the script. Let me continue to let this video play out. It's a little more. You okay, hold on. Let's use Uf, ale. Qué manera de cambiarme el día. Todos ellos venían a carrera y ya han pasado hartos.
Brothers get the point. Let me go back. Let me jump back into the scriptures here. Let me, let me come out of this. Yeah, bear with me, brothers. Go back. Go back. Right? Because the scripture is clear. Right? One of my favorite scriptures I've really come to really understand and enjoy. Isaiah chapter 47 verse 11. Disaster will come upon you and you will not know how to conjure it away. A calamity will fall upon you that you cannot ward off with a ransom. A catastrophe you cannot foresee will suddenly happen to you. You know, we got to remember in, in the book of Proverbs how it talks about, um, uh, and I'm loosely paraphrasing here, it talks about how, how us as the children of Israel, we refuse to listen to the Lord. We refuse to listen to his prophets, right? So suddenly calamity will happen upon us. And when we cry out to the Most High, He will not listen to us. I decline that, brothers. I'm sure many of you brothers probably get scam calls too as well. But nevertheless, um, uh, when we cry out to Him, He will not listen to us, right? You don't, you don't, you don't think those people are standing around saying, "Oh my God, oh my God, look what happened to Him," right? You know, us as as growing and believers in, in the knowledge and the truth. We're not supposed to love this world anyway. Let me let me come out of this. Pardon me, brothers, once again, you know, as the scripture reads, you know, first John two and 15. Do not love the world or the things or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the father is not in them. Right. Let me look a little further for everything in the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life comes not from the father but of the world you know we got to keep in mind that scripture that says that 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 if anyone loves the world he makes himself an enemy of your right he makes us you an automatic enemy yes yes we're supposed to live and function in this world but we're not supposed to love these things because these things are, are, are perishing away you know even the scriptures tell us that let me let me go back here let me go first corinthians chapter 7 verse 31 those of us who use the things of the world as if not engrossed in them for this world, this world in its present form is passing away. Right. Yes, you might have a, a, a Benz, a, a motorcycle, a bike, you know, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a, a Range Rover. Some some brothers are doing exceedingly well. Right. But you're not supposed to be, you know, racing them shits downtown. New York or Miami or, or, or as they say, flexing a stunt or what have you, you know, you know, if you got it, cool. If you don't, cool. But you can't be ruled by these things. Right. You see the judgment that happened to this guy here. That's a judgment. But what 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 should be happening is we should be thinking, hey, is this hopefully this man repents. Hopefully this man sees that the Lord had mercy on him. Right. Let me pull up a few more scriptures here, brothers. Let me go. Um. Go ahead, right? Right? This this is this is Romans chapter two, verse four. Or do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness, forbearance, and patience, not realizing that God's kindness is intended to lead you to repentance? So let's just say if you had this sort of situation happen to you, or you might have been one of the onlookers, that it might not happen to you exactly. But but you witness this shit, man. It's a call to repentance. It's for you to turn back, you know, turn back and seek the most high. Like the scripture says, with all your heart, all your soul, with all your strength, brothers, you know. And, and then you also got to realize, as the scripture says, right. Should I be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it right? The Lord caused this accident to happen to bring this man to repentance, to bring the onlookers to repentance. Right. So you can seek him with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, brothers. 
Okay? Shalom.